Hey, what's up guys? Uh, down here in the middle of Central America to hook up with this guy named Scooter, who's supposedly tracking the Bigfoot. We're not sure exactly what we're getting into, but we're ready for anything. This is Jose, you know, he's a native of, uh, of Pueblo Nuevo, which is actually the town that we're in. And, um, you know, we're just going to ask him a couple questions about what he thinks about the, about the Bigfoot and uh, what he thinks about Scooter and stuff. Entonces, ¿lo has visto usted o...? He hasn't seen it himself, but he's heard of other people who have, like, like Flor. El pie grande sobre... Como es más o menos parecido al de una persona. Una persona. Parece, sí. Alto, grande. Sí. Basically what he's saying is, you know, that he's seen Bigfoot straight up, that uh, he's tall, he's big, that, um, you know, he's really hairy. Es más como animal o más como hombre? Más como persona, sí. More like a, like a person. Sure. So pretty much like... The locals do think he's a lot, like Pia Grande exists, and they don't think Scooter's that crazy. Yeah. They've heard of it, you know, they've heard around, and some don't want to talk about it, and so we'll see what happens. I'm Ashley. Ashley, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. What's your name? I'm Heather. Heather? You guys sure are pretty. You guys didn't tell me you had pretty girls coming. What's up, man? Eddie. Eddie? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Like, when did you first decide that you wanted to go after and find Pia Grande? Well, I've been, I've been doing this for about seven years now. Almost eight years, but uh, ever since I was a little kid, man, I used to see all that big split stuff in the States, you know. And, and uh, uh, I used to go out in the Pacific Northwest, you live, live out in Oregon too, and, and uh, everybody seen him out there. And my grandfather kind of got me started on him because he seen him when he was a kid. Are you rocking blue blockers? Yeah. These things are awesome. <laughs> blue blockers, you can only order these from TV, you know. What does he say? Is, like is it low? I had it on tape a few times, but it's just like this. I'm just crazy. I can't even do it, man. It's scary, though. Oh my god. But yeah, welcome to Scooter's Crib. This is, uh, it really is awesome. It's a pretty funny place, man. I try to decorate it up. P. Grande's real hair, or is it your girl's hair? That's P. Grande's <laughs> hair. I'd be scared if that was my girl's hair. <laughs> Yeah, that's a picture right there that I took a while back. It's always kind of blurry because he's always running and stuff. I got some others. This is a picture that uh, a scooter took of uh, Pie Grande. Uh, yeah. and, you know, I said it's a little far away, but you can see the shape clearly. Look at the that's trees and in the sky. Yeah. So this it's is pretty much your yeah. like uh, Pie Grande like journal, like your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just stuff that's kind of put together, you know. Oh, that's like how tall do you think he's compared to? Somewhere in like what? in the states, you say he's like ten feet tall, like here, you know. But here, I think he's about a seven, eight, eight feet tall or something. A little bit smaller here. Okay, just okay. Imagine with no teeth. Like, I looked at him and when he had his mouth closed, and like he was a really good-looking guy. I'm, I'm not even kidding. <gasps> I did. I think he's really cute if he didn't have the teeth. These are the tail of a stingray, and I catch them and I, and I break these off. And I make spears out of them because they're perfect. Cause it's got a barb. Once it goes in, mm -hmm. it, it won't come out. I catch the big, uh, big toads. They're called sapo, mm -hmm. and um, extract the poison out of the uh, out of the sapo. They got big giant poison glands, mm -hmm. and I extract the poison out of them, and then I coat these with the poison. And this is what I want to do. I want to hide up in the tree and sit up there at night sometimes, waiting for the pea grande. Just stab them and get them, and then it, it won't kill them. It'll kill stun him. him, yeah, and get him enough to just slow him down. So, what do you think of Harry and the Hendersons? That. Oh, that was that big, stupid Bigfoot yeah. movie a long time ago. Yeah, yeah what do you that. think of that? That was stupid, man. Why? He ain't nothing. Does he look like anything like it? it? Kinda, a little bit. But don't you think he's nice and gentle like that, how they portray mm, him in the movie? I don't think so. Not down here they aren't, man. They're vicious, man. He eats uh, howler monkeys like candy, man. They fuck. I see him too, man. Do it. You can hear him screaming in the night sometimes they grab him by the tail and smack him on the ground and then tear him apart. Hey, you see the, the giant cockroach, y'all? I think they saw it, didn't they? Yeah, I picked it up and they started moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him, he's strong too, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, if he clean, if he clean, shaved, he kind of has that Luke Wilson vibe going on. Just the teeth. Hey, you like to talk. <laughs> what is it, Tom? What is it? God damn it! He's after something. Hey, look at that. He's 
chunk of meat right here. Oh shit. I made up a cow, man, last night. Something did, I don't know why. <laughs> Guy, like a, you know, he reminds me of like a typical like California like you know surfer, skateboarder dude, minus the teeth. He's a cool guy. He's kind of cute, cute, cute too. But Let me tell you something right now. If something goes walking through that, they're gonna fall right down. I just done broke myself. <laughs> Dude, man, I appreciate everything you've done for cool, us. Man. Dude, thanks for telling me worry, everything. Bro. Thanks for not uh, thinking that I'm crazy like everybody else does. No, no it's all we, true. I believe you. I, know, I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I came in thinking for sure that it wasn't true, and we met Scooter. And he started showing us all those pictures, started showing us his traps, the hair. I mean, there's a lot of evidence to lean towards uh, what he really believes is out there as like the Bigfoot. I hope he finds it, and I hope, you know, in a year he's on the news with uh, that million dollar bounty, you know, hanging out on a beach somewhere. Adios.